What's going on guys? This is Emerson Tapani here. And today I would like to talk about EAAs, essential amino acids. Now, chances are that many of you watching this video have used an amino acid product in the past. And I say in the past because chances are <laughs> it was an underwhelming, forgettable experience. Uh, why would that be? Well, one of the main reasons that amino acid product usage falls short is because mainly two reasons. Either people don't use an EAA product, all right? They're just using BCAAs. Now, uh, the use of BCAAs uh, at this point is a little bit dated in the sense that we've since found that EAA products, which essential amino acids uh, also contain branch chain amino acids because they're part uh, of what are considered essential amino acids, uh, that the EAA products uh, simply put, they work better. Um, but probably if it wasn't that, it was because an adequate dose was not used. I guess let's back up a minute and give you a little bit of background about EAAs. Uh, essential amino acids are probably one of the most researched supplements out there. Uh, creatine obviously is super super heavily studied, uh, but EAAs, tons of research, okay? You could probably spend the next uh, several years reading studies on EAAs, <laughs> okay? The, the science is there. Uh, they've been proven mainly, I mean, they've been proven to do all sorts of things, but all the things that they've been proven to do, whether it's uh, in improve different measures of performance, right, whether it's uh, strength or speed or improve recovery or, you know, uh, various measures of their anabolic and or anti-catabolic uh, potential, pretty much all of it goes back to the fact that they are great at initiating protein synthesis and increasing the rate of uh, protein synthesis. So out of those two things come a whole host of benefits. Uh, Anyone who's been training long enough knows that protein synthesis and staying in a positive nitrogen balance are key uh, to, to gaining muscle, improving performance, and enhancing the way that you look. Doesn't matter if it, you're a power lifter, bodybuilder, any type of athlete. The use of EAAs and stimulating protein synthesis and staying in a positive nitrogen balance are of benefit to you. Uh, how can EAAs help you do that? Well, EAAs, aside from their just ability to trigger protein synthesis, uh, someone once likened it to the ability to switch on a light, right? Leucine is key in that. Um, but once a light switch is turned on, right, someone said, well, you can only turn the light switch on so hard, right? It's either on or it's off. Uh, and that makes sense. However, EAAs are really unique uh, as opposed to the, uh, well, when I say EAAs in the form of supplements, right, we're talking about free form amino acids. So how does that compare to the amino acids found in the foods that you eat? Well, food, uh, amino acids found in the foods that you eat are peptide bonded, peptide bound amino acids. When you consume food, say you consume um, a meal and it has 60 grams of protein. Usually at best, that's about 30% efficient. You'll likely use, you know, of those 60 grams, say just shy of 20 grams uh, of those amino acids will actually be used with the rest being uh, waste, unfortunately. So when you look at the efficiency, and this goes for protein shakes as well, unless in the case of maybe the, uh, the protein source being a hydrolyzed, protein source, which basically means it's already been digested. So when you look at free form amino acids, and when I'm talking free form amino acid products, I'm talking animal nitro, uh, juiced aminos. These are free form aminos. What that means is they, um, they basically don't require digestion, okay? They're 99 plus percent efficient. They have the ability, once they enter your stomach, to pass right into your bloodstream. Uh, so they can begin doing work right away. Why is that beneficial? Okay, if you eat all day long, like a lot of athletes and bodybuilders do, 
uh, you're not going to eat during training. So if you maximize your eating schedule and you know that, okay, I can get away with eating up to an hour before training, and as soon as training is done, I'm going to eat again, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You're not going to eat during training. You're not going to drink a protein shake. You're not going to sit down and eat a meal during training. Even if you do, um, which I wouldn't recommend, you still have the lack of efficiency that I've mentioned before. Using free-form amino acids, right, in the EAAs, you now have the ability to consume a large amount of highly efficient, totally usable amino acids during your training. So most people using amino acid products will take in three, five, let's just say you're, you're being a hero, you take in 10 grams of amino acids uh, around your training time, uh, you know, using a supplement. It's probably not gonna really shine. Uh, once you start getting up into higher amounts of amino acids, 20, 25 grams used right around training, so say at the start of training, during training, and uh, you know, just before you finish, it can pay massive, massive dividends. Because when you consume, say, 20 to 25 grams of uh, EAAs, you know, via a product like uh, juiced aminos or animal nitro and the free form amino acids, you're going to make use of all of it. So to be able to take in 20 to 25 grams, now you're taking in the whole food equivalent of 60 plus grams, okay, of protein. So you basically just had a whole nother meal's worth of a protein serving during your training. That's huge. That's huge. Uh, and it's great because you can do it whether you're pre-contest or you're off-season. Um, you know, technically, you know, if you look at it, the amino acids don't have any calories, uh, although because they're not whole proteins, right? It doesn't, they don't have an actually caloric value. Um, so that's something that I've used since I started as an amateur, the use, uh, especially when I'm uh, really calorie depleted, prepping for a show, the use of uh, amino acid products during training is massive, all right? The, the energy bump that you get, the increase in fullness and density and energy, it's really a big bump in energy. The, there's even studies out there that show a, a favorable shift in the uh, likelihood of, of burning fat uh, for, for fuel, you know, during training, the ability of, of amino acids to um, accentuate that. So uh, really, the science backing the benefits of EAAs is there. Um, and then the empirical evidence is massive. If you talk to guys who have been doing this for a long time, uh, and they're people that have supplemented with higher, uh, higher amounts of EAAs during training, they'll all tell you it's, it's massive. Most people don't do it because when you look on uh, you know, a label of an amino acid product, it's gonna give you the specs for a three to five gram serving and usually that's what people roll with. Um, I've always been of the mindset, I would rather use a, a full on effective dose of one product or two products rather than take a sprinkle of, of 10 different products. But unfortunately that's what you see uh, in, in a lot of sports supplements. Oh, is it, here's a few, gram of amino, a few grams of amino acids, here's a little bit of creatine, here's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, if you've never done it before, take it for a ride. Uh, a high dose of EAAs during training. In all the years I've been doing this, uh, I've yet to recommend it to anyone who came back and uh, said that it in any way fell short of, of what I told them it would do. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I prefer using animal nitro because... I just don't like all the, that artificial sweetener flavor. It's a lot for me to drink. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a lot of capsules to swallow. I'll take down four packs during training. I'll take down one at the beginning, uh, two during, and one as the end of my workout approaches. But it works. Uh, if you prefer, you know, to drink them down, juiced aminos is a dynamite option. It really, you know, in, in terms of who can do this, doesn't matter whether you're male or female. Obviously, amino acids are, you know, non-androgenic. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter whether you're pre-contest or off-season, man or woman, young or old. The use of EAAs, it's, to, to me, as someone who's a massive believer in whole food, EAAs are kind of the next 
it's a way for me to just take in more of the benefit of food at a time when I can't consume food, AKA during training. Uh, you know, you, you pop 20 to 25 grams of EAAs during training, you're not gonna get the stomach upset. You're not, you're not getting, you're getting nothing. It's just going down and that stuff is going right to work. So honestly, it's something I can't re recommend highly enough. Um, if you've never tried it, take it for a spin. That's all I got. I'll talk to you guys soon.